You've heard of a black Russian, you've heard of a white Russian, but a raspberry Russian? Stay tuned and we'll show you how to make a raspberry Russian. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eddie from Average Joe Drinks. And I'm Vince, and we're here to make drinks suitable for the average Joe. Just like my dad intended when he spent over, I don't know, years of his life collecting drink recipes. We've got over 11,000. We're gonna share some with you now. That's right. So sit back, enjoy, and please try this at home. All right, Eddie. This is a, this is a new one. This is an Eddie creation based off of a Kim idea, a right? A Kim Googling, yes. So. <laughs> So we were looking for different drinks that, that it's something a little special, it's a holiday season, um, depending on what you celebrate, whether it's Christmas, Kwanzaa, Festivus, it doesn't They're matter. They're all holidays. Celebrate. They're all holidays. Uh, we personally celebrate Christmas. This is the season for them. So we are going to make a raspberry Russian. Cool. So it's very similar to a white Russian, a black Russian, strangely enough. But... A Putin? A, no, not a... A what? A, a, you know, Trump's buddy. Oh, I thought you said something else, yeah. Not a Putin or a Poopin. So, <laughs> you say this. Shambo. Thank you. Chambord. Uh, it's raspberry liqueur. So we're gonna use that instead of uh, like a coffee liqueur if we're doing a black Russian or a white Russian. And then we're gonna use cream just like we would in a white Russian. And a vanilla vodka. Like what, a what race is that? This is, uh, it's vanilla, so Caucasian? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, if you wanna get really political, this could be a red Russian. Because, you know, the communist... Okay. Keep going. <laughs> we'll do a strawberry later and then it can be a <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to do... It's, it's equal parts. It's a real simple cocktail. Um, we're going to have some really special ice cubes that are going to show up there in a little bit. And you'll see those. But we're going to do one ounce per drink per cocktail. So we have two ounces of our vanilla vodka. And we're going to do two ounces of our cream. Half and half. This is half and half. Thank you. Uh, it's gonna be very specific. Well, a lot of people, they like cream. I prefer half and half. So that's what I choose. Anytime I see cream, usually I'm just gonna do half and half because I just prefer it. Somebody needs to explain to me the whole concept of a fat-free half and half because you can see that at the grocery store. <laughs> that makes zero sense, doesn't it? Half and half, what is half and half and... Oh, Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I haven't even had a drink yet. So we're gonna shake this up. And when we shake these up and come back, we're gonna see some pretty cool ice cubes show up there. That should be good. What I need to do for like Christmas, I think I'm gonna ask for a new set of speakers. Make it a little easier for me. You know, you've been working on your YouTube channel hard when you start wearing out cocktail shakers. That's true. Uh, I don't have a strainer. You don't? May I borrow a strainer, please? I never forgot something. All right, here we go. Blanched out of there too. So the I didn't mention the ice cubes. What we did, we took the ice cubes, and we've mentioned it before. Um, whenever you, you try to put raspberries, they don't really float very well. So we have I stuck them in these little one-inch cube ice cube trays. Stuck a raspberry and put some water there, and there's our drinks or there's our ice cubes. So that, my friend, is a, a raspberry Russian. Kind of cool when cool. you can see the little ice cubes coming through there. Yeah, that's that's really nice. That's a cool effect. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And that's good. You know what I would do, possibly though? Possibly. Is to put a little bit of food coloring in there. Sure. That way you get the pink color. But the ice cubes still are a nice touch. Either way, that is a very tasty drink. It's nice. Mm. And I think having at least a half and half or a heavy cream is pretty important because you get the smooth, rich texture. And especially nice with a you know a pretty good raspberry liqueur like that. So sad part is, though, that it's good enough that you're going to drink the whole thing before the ice even has a chance to melt. <laughs> that's a lot of effort, but well, it's cool. Well, then you just get another one. There you go. Oh, see? That's Problem good solved. thinking. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, if you liked what you saw today, we'd ask you to do a couple things. If you can, you're already on uh, YouTube, so go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. If you have not, go to Facebook. We've got lots of stuff over there that's uh, both uh, educating and entertaining. And then um, share if you can. We'd love to have you share so we can get the drinks out to as many people as possible. Comments below, that helps us a lot. Interaction, please do that. We have a blog at Average Show Drinks. We're tweeting and Instagramming and all of the above. Maybe be Snapchatting and 
whatever else we had to do. Yeah, and we're it's things they haven't even invented yet. We're all over that too. We'll invent it. No, we won't do that. We don't overpromise. Anyways, <laughs> thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Please drink responsibly. Please drink responsibly. Thank you.